Cities and counties from coast to coast are pushing back against President Trump's policies and executive orders on immigration. The local governments, mostly led by Democrats, are going on record in support of immigrants, including those who are undocumented. And in some cases, they're reaffirming their status as sanctuary cities, places where immigrants won't be prosecuted for violating federal immigration laws. Here in Wisconsin, in recent days, the cities of Milwaukee and Madison and Milwaukee and Dane counties have passed resolutions related to Trump's now suspended travel ban or his order on sanctuary cities. We're talking more now about local governments going their own way and risking the loss of federal funds with Milwaukee County Supervisor Marcelia Nicholson. She co-authored an anti-discrimination resolution that includes declaring Milwaukee County a safe place for undocumented immigrants. Supervisor, it's good to have you on the program. Thank you for having me today. So let's talk about the reasons you felt you needed to pass this anti-discrimination resolution. Absolutely. So considering what's happening in the nation right now, and as a young woman of color, um, I know how it feels to be discriminated against or seen as a second-class citizen. So I decided that what best way to show my solidarity with those who are facing discrimination themselves than to take um, partnership with this resolution and pass something that would basically reflect the values of our community. We know that Milwaukee is a diverse county. We know that immigrants have made invaluable contributions to our county. And this resolution basically opposes discrimination in all its forms and reflect the true values of Milwaukee County. So there is a risk to this, though, because you've seen what the president has said, that, that the cities that say that they're not going to follow his executive order or counties that are not going to follow his executive order could lose federal money. So there is some element of risk. Why did you think that risk was worth it? Well, first of all, I just want to um, clarify that this resolution does not um, interact with federal policy at all. So you say you're not a sanctuary city, is that, or county? It, exactly, exactly. This resolution is an anti-discrimination resolution. It basically urges Sheriff Clark not to deputize local law enforcement in enforcing federal immigration law. Um, detainer requests are just that, requests. They are not requirements. Are you worried about what the sheriff will do? Because he has said, I support President Trump and I support this executive order, that, that he intends to follow what the president has, has asked for. Sheriff Clark has basically shown us that he will do whatever he wants to do. We have seen this in a way that he's spoken about communities of color. We have seen this in a way that he has disrespected uh, residents of Milwaukee County. My only hope is that he begins to realize um, that he should treat all residents here with dignity and respect. Um, my hope is that he will open his heart to allowing a community to um, reflect the values of uh, the nation and not rip families apart. Um, although we can't force the sheriff to do what we want him to do, we can hold him accountable uh, at the ballot box when it's time for re-election. This is something you, I'm sure you've, you've heard in this discussion, and, and that is that we can't be a nation that decides to pick which rules or laws or executive orders we want to follow, that, that we are a nation of laws and a nation, essentially, of rules. What do you say to people who say that, you know, what is Milwaukee County doing? What is the city of Milwaukee doing when they're, they're, they're sounding like they're maybe going to look the other way on, on this issue? What Milwaukee County is doing is setting a precedent. It is saying that we are a democracy and not a dictatorship. We are crafting policies that reflect the true value of our residents here in Milwaukee County. Uh, we are sticking up for those who um, belong here, who have every right to be here, who have made invaluable contributions to our society. I don't see this as defying federal government. In fact, I think federal government should stop defying its people and trying to enforce policies that don't reflect the true values of our nation. The, the board uh, voted for this, they support this, but it seemed like there were some board members who were less excited about this idea. Um, do you think that there's anything that you can do to win them over, or, or does it matter at this point? Have you just gone on the record and said this is the way we feel? At this point, I feel the county board spoke and on behalf of the constituents that reached out to us, we listened to hundreds of people who agreed that Milwaukee County is a safe place for all people, regardless of their differences. Um, we won't always agree as a board, but when it truly matters, we do. And a 12 to 6 vote was very good. And, uh, and Monday uh, in Milwaukee, a big, uh, a big rally plan, the uh, a Day Without Latinos uh, rally that is scheduled in here. I assume the message there is intended again in part for Sheriff Clark, correct? Well, this message is intended for 
are those people in Milwaukee County that agree that immigrants helped to found this nation, that immigrants built this nation, that immigrants make invaluable contributions to our society. And so I'm excited about this rally. Um, I think it will send a clear message that we stand together united against discrimination. Supervisor Marcelia Nicholson, the Milwaukee County Board, we appreciate your time today. Thanks very much <laughs> Thank for being you. with us. You bet. Thank you. And now we're asking for your thoughts. What do you think about local governments doing their own thing and defying Trump on immigration issues? You can tell us by liking and sharing up front on Facebook. Coming up next, Governor Walker's big challenge on his newly released state budget.